The single biggest change that we'll be seeing in the electricity system in 10 years' time, I think, is just this continuation of this decentralisation. So more assets, smaller assets, consumer-owned. Um, I think it will be the proliferation of renewables, the demise of conventional generation, uh, the, the arrival of, of energy storage. Yeah, management of demand in, in a way, moving away from electricity as a sort of transient, have to use it now source to using better energy storage and management of demand uh, in a more effective way. The part of the smart grid I'm most excited about is the flexibility that is afforded by all the different appliances that are in the home uh, together with EVs in the future. The flexibility that that can provide to the electricity system and the cost savings and efficiencies that we'll get from the smart grid. Thinking about the smart grid, I'm excited again about this idea of the fragmentation of business models. So smart grid, essentially you now have more data to, to uh, react to changes in environment, changes in price, changes in time of use. So the chicken and egg scenario of do the vehicles, electric vehicles come first or is it the infrastructure comes first? Um, it is a virtuous circle in the sense that you need one to complete the other. Um, I believe ultimately the vehicles probably will be the first mover. I think ultimately the driver comes down for the vehicles themselves. I think it's a, a consumer offering which is superior to the internal combustion engine car and people are going to want to do this. Uh, that builds critical mass and that gets the whole process going. The biggest barrier to investment in smart grid technologies today, I think, is the lack of a clear regulatory framework, a long-term framework, that would really provide a roadmap out to the future. Now, we're actually moving to something that is not subsidised by the government, that has different revenue streams coming in, and you can actually pick and choose which one you want. And that's the difficulties in understanding which revenues you can rely on to create an investable proposition. What's amazing about these sorts of panels today is the level of agreement we have. You know, two, three years ago, we would still be wrangling about where the market's going, and suddenly there's huge consensus on exactly where we're going to be in 15 years, and a lot of the questions now are moving around how to get there. I think the panel today was very interesting. The whole conference has been very interesting because it gave me even more comfort on what is happening in the energy industry. It gave me a firm belief that we are part of the revolution. We are part of the energy revolution. We are driving the energy revolution. And that the market, the energy market, will not be the same in five, 10 years time.